You're listening to What's Up Van Horn. And here are your hosts, DJ Rewind and Chris the Chief Herrera. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Hey, what's going on, Van Horn? <laughs> Welcome to our first official broadcast of What's Up, Van Horn. So, uh, oh my what? God, I'm excited. I can't believe this is actually happening for real. Like, yeah, this is happening. I mean, come on. Like, who thought? You know, and it's funny because remember, what was it? Months and months ago. I mean, what is maybe like what? Uh, almost maybe a year? We talked about, you no, know. No, I don't think it was that long. I, I'm thinking it was maybe around maybe four months ago four months ago yeah. you know and we were just just uh, just talking about it wouldn't it be cool you know just to have a radio talk show and you know what would we talk about you know just well it, it all started because you showed me that podcast of uh ross and josh Ro- yeah or yeah. josh and ross jo- is that what josh and ross yeah and apparently i think he's going solo now yeah man it's, it's, i saw that he's going on e right uh well ross is yeah ross is gonna have his own uh, uh talk show i think that's gonna be on the 16th of this month so. The six, yeah, on E, right? On E, that's on e. nuts. I mean, I wonder what what uh, what's his name. So that's Ross, right? Yeah, the yeah the and the other guys is, jo- Josh, is Josh. Yeah, I wonder what Josh is thinking. He's like, this guy has left the building. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, but man, so I think uh, what is it? Uh, uh, he's taking it over the show. I think it's it's called Off the Rails. No, well, it's it's. I just I just remember watching a commercial that he's like working out, right? Yeah, and then he's all like. Okay, and it's my turn to do crunches. And then he pulls out a, a, a bag of potato chips yes. and starts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyways. Anyways, um, so this whole idea started because we felt that people needed to find out what was going on in Van Horn. You know, it is a small little town. Yeah, you know? and then there's no radio here. It gets boring. You know what I mean? Remember the day back in the day when we used to ha- had to hook up the... Uh television cable to the antenna to get power my mom did that for the longest time just to hear like it went out of el paso uh-huh yep yeah. and i mean now i don't know i don't know how did they prevent that like because they, all of a sudden one day she hooked it up and it's like it's and not it's working not working anymore yeah, yeah. and uh, i mean oh she, it's she, like it's like when uh what was it um uh, when uh, the digital when when everything went digital or whatever the you can't use the antennas the bunny ears anymore to, yeah to get the basic four or five channels <laughs> yeah and i remember cru- i remember cruising through town and my dad would listen to uh a- am 800 radio cañon yes and then <laughs> radio cañon <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know and so like, on a clear night you could i mean from what i hear on a clear night you could hit that like in denver oh wow yeah so i mean that, that's crazy but it's it's and come you, a long way, and you you yeah, <laughs> and then and we still can't get any radio stations here no. on the radio. And then the one we do have, I mean, it's just you know whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, uh, you know, we wanted to discuss first of all. If you guys out there don't know, this is Chris Hedera. Huh? Hey, hey, he's gonna be my co-host in this show. Um, and yes, okay, everybody. Yes, he is gay. <gasps> Open, Shocker. openly gay, Shocker. openly gay. Isn't so that... anybody that's sitting there and getting the gay vibe, yes, yes. Okay, it, your, your your gaydar is correct. <laughs> 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 so we met a long time ago. Probably, uh, you know, we were talking about this earlier, but we we uh, w- I remember seeing him at Pizza Hut, you know. And his mom, uh, your mom used to work at Pizza Hut, right? Yeah, yeah, we both did actually. Yeah. Oh, did you we, work at yeah. Pizza? Yeah, too. I used to work at Pizza. I, I don't know anybody who didn't work at Pizza. Yeah, you know, you know. But I guess that's where we met. One of my friends told me, "Hey, man, that guy—they call him the Chief." And I'm like, "They call him the Chief? Well, why? Is he Indian or what?" <laughs> He's all, "No, man. He just—he just—he uh, likes to get blazed a lot." And I'm all like, "Oh well." Mm, and I kind of and, and, and you know, at that point, I was really green, so I didn't know what that meant. Yeah, like blazed. I'm like, what do you, what do you, yeah. what do you mean blazed? So, but anyways, yeah, that that's what ended up happening. He, and then you know, you get to know what blazed means, and ah, uh, that light bulb turned on later on. Said that's uh, why they called him the chief. Yeah, well, okay. he's the chief, but he looks Asian. <laughs> <laughs> After lunch, he's a Chinese chief. <laughs> he's he got, I guess it gets subtle. Oh. You got kind of mixed up with him Chinese that mm. got brought over. Oh yeah. Anyways, you know, their ancestors did something with other other ancestors and 
you know, you've got a product going on. So, um, basically, what we're trying to do here is we want to let you know what's going on. And in, uh, I guess you could say local news. It'd be local yeah, news. Yeah, local news, Van Horn. We have a benefit dance for OJ Carrillo. Carrillo. I'm sorry, I messed that up. OJ Carrillo happening September 7th from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. at the community center, VH Van Horn Community Center. Single people, seven bucks, and couples are 12 bucks. So I guess if you go with somebody, mm-hmm. you save two yeah. bucks. Yeah, I mean, two bucks. either way, either way, go, you know, because it is for it's a good, a good, and if, good if, reason. If you guys cause. know OJ, uh, he's, he's a fighter, man. Mm-hmm. He's such a fighter. I mean, you know, I, I get, you see adults get sick and, and they complain so much. And, and this little guy has yeah. been, oh, excuse me, he, he's been, he's been going through this since he was like five years old. Yeah. You know, and it, I, I, my daughter is five years old and I can, I wouldn't be able to bear to see her to go through that. You know, it, it's something mm-hmm. so tough and, you know, and, you know, you got to thank everybody who's been giving efforts to make you know, donations or, or just benefit whatever's it's, for OJ. You know, and it, the community coming together. Yeah. You know, and, and I think that's when I moved back here to Van Horn. And a, a, everyone, anyone, anyone that lives here in a small town where you graduate, you're like, oh, I can't wait to get out of this town. You know, they, Th- there's there's something about this the, town that just attracts you. Like I've seen many people move to this town. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? A lot of people have come and go, but <clears throat> you know. Like me, I, I've I've lived in Dallas. I've lived in, you know, uh, San Antonio and you know El Paso and stuff. But there's no place like here. Yeah, honestly, there there's there's no place like here. Yeah. I mean, I I have so much fun here. You know, yeah. I, I, the thing is, it feels good to go places because you visit. You know what I mean? Yeah. You visit. When you visit, you spend money. Okay. You go to a nice hotel. You go out to a club. You buy drinks, and you know it's just for a couple nights. Mm-hmm. That's why the experience is so yeah. awesome. But I when know. you when you when you live there, it's like, dude, you're stuck in the apartment all day. You you cannot spend <laughs> the type of money you spend on a vacation. You know, you just yeah. can't. You know, that's why you save. Period. But yeah. Well, like, yeah. So, like, um, but you know, you know, everyone can relate. You know, oh, I can't wait to get out of Van Horn. You know, I was living in Tucson for nine years. I loved it. Yeah. You know. Uh, uh, circumstances I had to come back yeah. and you know I was like oh man like god here I go back to Van Horn again like you know but my first week uh, they were having the uh, brisket uh, the brisket selling brisket you know for OJ oh yeah that, yeah, yeah. For that yeah. first week and you know you know at Facebook it was all over the place come you know buy a $10 brisket plate you know and in that right there that right there it was like okay this is why I like Van Horn now again because the community is coming together yeah, and it's like it's like whether a loved one dies whether you got something to benefit for uh, you know you don't see that in a large city no you don't no you don't hold on give me a second I gotta turn this air conditioner off it's just too loud for me man. yeah that, that, that's better <laughs> oh wow you see now need, you can actually hear you get a fan. so i'm sorry about that guys next time i know better yeah we do need actually we do need to get a seat in front of that that would make a lot more sense anyways okay so like i said benefit dance for oj going on september 7th from 9 p.m to 1 a.m uh van horn community center singles are seven bucks couples are 12 bucks and it's los pecadores playing yeah uh right yeah. which is a local band so you know, if you guys want to go check it out, you're more than welcome. Um, you were telling me the poster said from 9 a.m. to 1 a.m.? Yeah, that's what the poster said, 9 a.m. <laughs> like, that's going to be a long party. That's going to be go, a long party. They, I mean, better, I, they better have all the, the sheriffs that day on, on call. And you know? uh, plenty of chloroceptic spray for those voices. Exactly. <laughs> it's going to hurt. Lemon juice, tea, something, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. So, uh, So, kids are back in school. Oh, I I know this has been a whole a whole week, you know, yeah, and everyone it's transitioned into one school. It's like Sarah Blanca. Yeah, and, and apparently there's a there's some issues going on with the lunch. Oh, I know what? no what? No, uh, apparently people are complaining because some students don't get enough time to eat their lunch. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what's happening. You know, I just know that I've heard a couple parents here and a couple parents there saying. You know, uh, our kids are rushed out of school and stuff like that. I think those are just bugs, you know, yeah. that, that need to be worked out. 
it's like you know it's like any anything you get the first of anything always has mm. complications oh yeah i think if we give it a little bit then it might work itself yeah. out now if we get to the point where we're halfway in the year we're still having and this problem having then, pro- yeah. yeah you know they're gonna we something needs to be addressed yeah. you know we're a weekend we're a weekend to a new system I, you know I, I don't even remember you know i think the high school's been open since it's been built yeah right it has so i mean this is like and how long ago was that I'm gonna say I'm gonna go on a limb and say like fifty to sixty years, because my dad graduated from that high school. His diploma has that high school in front, uh, yeah, the, drawn on it. <laughs> and, and you know that was like I'm gonna say like forty years ago. So I'm gonna say like probably fifty years built. You know, so that, I mean it's a it's a tough transition for anybody, but you know it's just uh, it's if if we can't get mad at anybody yet because nothing's gone wrong. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know, it, it, when we were in school, how long did we get for lunch? Was it like forty-five minutes or something like that? I don't even remember. Well, well, we had to we had to stay in the school for the cafeteria. Did you? you know? No, I well, didn't. I, well, in high school, I didn't. Oh no, no, no. Um, like in junior high and you know and all that. You know, we had junior high at the Red Building. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the I had junior. High, I had seventh and eighth in the Red Building, which I thought was awesome because it gave us our own entity of like actually being like a small high school by ourselves. Or we, you got, you got that. You know, you transition from elementary to junior high, and then you start getting scheduled. Like, your, your classes, you know, yeah. the bell rings, and you go to another class. So, it kind of prepares you to what high school is going to be like. And on top of that, we had our own pep rallies because we had our own gym. Yeah. And uh, so, I, I thought that was cool because... And it's funny that you say that because you went to uh, the Delaware, the Delaware, you know, you, had, you guys had your own junior high. Yeah. So, when um, it was... My turn, our class, you know, to go to junior high. They brought y'all back to the elementary. They, yeah, you That's, know, they brought yeah. it back. You know, they, we went. I think they, we had a, like a little tour of the of the Delaware school at first, and I remember. And then they're like, "Well, what's the point of this if we're just gonna stay?" And the, the same, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> I I really liked the red school, just for the fact that we had our own deal going on over there, and you know, it it was fun. It was fun. The only thing is that you know when we had band. We have to go to the high school, and then I guess I guess even they had shop in when I was in junior high, and those kids they would take to the high school. So I mean, they had you know you should have seen us whenever we had orientation for high school. It was like oh my god, this is like a whole orientation. Yeah, they had believe it or not, they had an orientation like college. Yeah, <laughs> like college. They had a, they had a day orientation where they took all the eighth graders up to high school and showed us what it was gonna be like. Wow, that's crazy, huh? <laughs> So, anyways, yeah, uh, today is the first game of the, what is it, I guess you'd say 2013-2014 football season. Football season. Yeah. Go Eagles. Woo-woo. Go Eagles. <laughs> Van Horn Eagles versus Crane. Crane Golden Cranes, I think that's who they are. Today at 730, that's kickoff. Uh, y'all make sure and attend. Go show S- some support. Support, yeah. support. We need it. Oh, we, I mean, not, not only that, but I think we've been doing good. You know, we uh, we won by district a couple years ago, so... And we did. We I think I was even reading where we had like one of the best games of the season, if not the best game in two A football that season. You know, we went into the playoffs and it came down to a nail biter to where we lost to advance. But I think we were, you know. Oh yeah. So I mean, <clears throat> we're doing good. So props to the coaches and hopefully no, y'all guys keep and it who's up. A, and um, who's the head coach now? Um, I think it's uh, Mr. Gibson. Mr. Gibson. Brian Gibson is the athletic director and I think head football coach. So apparently he's doing something right, you know, because yeah. he's winning games. Remember back in the day, Coach Gomez, Robert Gomez? Robert Gomez. I mean, that was my coach. Yeah. yeah that was my coach. That was, whew, wow, that was <laughs> a long time ago. Coach Owen um, Rivera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse. <laughs> Mighty Mouse. <laughs> so. Yeah, like I said, y'all guys go, y'all go show your support, and uh, hopefully we can get some games won this year and build up the crowd to go, you know, advance, man, advance. I'd like to see that state championship one day for football. One day. Yeah, I mean, I know we won it for baseball a while back, but we need to get a football one. We really do. (laughs) So anyways, we also got a... uh, what is it? A food bank going on today? The food bank at the First Methodist Church from uh, ten. It's going on right now. Yeah, it's on noon. So ten a.m. You know, to twelve. 
12 yeah, p.m. 12, is it 12, does it yeah. transition into p.m. at, at yeah. noon? At noon, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. I just wanted to make sure I didn't want to say I didn't want to get the mistake <laughs> like to poster it. And it's, it's twenty four so, hours, yes, guys. Yeah, mm-hmm. someone shows up there at, at five in the afternoon trying to get food, canned food. And so. it's only the first sixty nine people. So the first sixty nine people apparently receive a food, food bag. Food bag, and who knows what that's going to contain? Which you know, I mean, I've been to food banks in Tucson, mm-hmm. you know, and they've got stuff like, uh, you know, a bag you know, of rice, beans, so, canned so goods, and stuff like that. So, wait a minute. Let, let me, let me like ask that. you. A food bank is where you go donate food or you go get food? You can go and donate your food, and what they'll do is they'll go ahead and they'll um, separate it, and then they'll get boxes, and then they'll just put, you know, stuff in there, you know, a variety of things. So if, and then people that are in need, you know, especially like if low income... And you don't have you don't have enough. You can go to these churches and pick up a food box, oh, and okay. it has like so, bread, so they give you like rice, essentials. yeah, okay. you know, just the the basic well, that's, stuff. That's pretty awesome, and and it's good. I mean, if you have cans that you're not using, I mean, go donate them. You know, donate clothes, whatever. Like it's yeah, that's that's a good know, thing. People yeah. people in need, you know. So props to the Methodist yeah, Church. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah, that, that's pretty awesome. I, I I've I've Maybe because I always I always was under the impression it was more like a food drive. Mm-hmm. So apparently it's not. It's like the needy can go and pick up food themselves, yeah, and exactly. they give them like, okay, I got you, I got it's you. It's cool. It's a it's a good thing. Like I mean, come on. I mean, we've had so you know we we taken so much in our lives. You know what I mean? I think it's good to give back. You know, yeah, it is. No, it like, is. Especially if you have. Uh, I mean, if you're well fed, which we are. <laughs> Um, it's good to give back. It is good to give back because, you know, there's a lot of people out there that really don't have much. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's that's not a cool thing. That's not a cool thing. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> if y'all have any topics y'all may want to talk about, you can text it to us, which is 915, which is my number, 915-588-9722. That's 915-588-9722. Five eight eight nine seven two two, and I don't know if you want to give your number out. Sure, why not? Five two zero nine seven seven one seven nine six, and that's my phone. So don't be afraid to text. Give us a holler and see what's up. Yeah, it's 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 a cool thing. So, uh, what's going on in the world today, dude? In the world, that's uh, <laughs> apparently we're having this deal with Syria. I mean, uh, yeah, I've heard about that. Um, so, there. from my understanding, I, you know, don't don't politically quote me out there because I, I i mean i just saw this thing in the news today uh, apparently syria released chemical weapons on their own people on the, on their own people yeah i i think that's what it is i mean oh that's know. that's kind of what's that this genocide on your own kind well, well or? here's the deal is that you know the the un is really against any chemical warfare period and you know uh apparently britain was in the deal with us at trying Trying to say, hey man, this this is wrong. We got to prevent. We got to do something about it. So the U.S. wanted to step in as well. And uh, gosh, we didn't, dude, quit, quit getting into other people. Are you business. sweating? Are you? Is it that hot in here? Do I need? I to just turn sweat on a me? lot. It's it's horrible. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I've got That's flop funny. sweat right now. It's horrible. <laughs> You're one of those guys that sweat. Now I see. Now That's why the, with the hat. The hat. It, it, uh, it, yeah, you need a headband like uh, LeBron James. Like LeBron James. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. So if it gets on here, tell me, dude. I'll oh, on well, here. Whenever, dude. I'm, I'm not. I'm, okay. Like I said, you know, that's what the hat's for. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so apparently th- the U.S. wants to step in and and kind of you know do something about it. So and apparently they're going through discussions as we speak right now. So I don't I don't know what's gonna happen, but I will we'll, we'll kind just, of look into that. And sometimes see. I just wish. You know, we don't get into the thick of things, you know. It's and a tough then, deal. You know, it's because we're like a nation of, of privileges. Yeah. We, we um, have, you know, we you have to understand that we're like big brother. Or at least, you know. And try to be. Yeah, try to be. <laughs> so, I mean, and, and for the most part, I think it's with a good intention. I don't think we go in, you know, we mostly go in when people are getting hurt. Yeah. Or, or get, I mean, you know, a lot of people can argue about it and stuff. But in the end, you know, it's just it's wrong to hurt each other period you know but anyways um so i don't have too much information on that i we can talk about that i guess a little later a little later yeah. yeah uh so the vmas <laughs> the vmas well what was there said it was on sunday <laughs> it was on sunday and i think it was i think the most thing on the vmas was the um miley cyrus the thing. miley cyrus um and uh the robin thick in you know, the blurred lines 
You know, I don't know if you've seen that. You know, I, I saw that dude, and it, it's pretty crazy because, you know, they were doing a. They were like kind of showing her as Hannah Montana and what's happened to Hannah Montana and stuff like that, and I'm like, you know, um, that that's that was. I think that happens to everybody. Yeah, I mean, you know, look at look at Britney Spears. Britney what Spears. happened to her? You know, I mean, Mickey Mouse Club. So, uh, then she had her own. She grew up. She, yeah, that's what happens. She you grew, know, you grow and then up. and then people criticize them because oh my god, you know, you know they they had a they had like a still shot of. Um, Will Smith's family with their jaw dropped. Yeah. You know, and I'm like... Okay, oh. why are you taking your kids to the VMAs? Wait till she performs on the VMAs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wait till, Watch. Wait till, what, what's her name? Willow? Willow. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, your yeah. Hair or something. Wait till, wait till <laughs> she starts starts doing that on, on the yeah, VMA stage. exactly. And, you they're, know? you know... And I'm like, why are you taking your kids? Like, seriously. I was like, come on. Well, no, no, I get that. Everybody knows that the VMAs are an adult show anyway. You know, you take your kids, you better expect, you ex- expect some crazy stuff exactly. to happen, whether it's from Lady Gaga. I mean, heck, even in the past, Marilyn Manson did some crazy stuff. Oh, come on. Uh, a few, uh, what was it? Uh, the Britney Spears and Madonna kiss. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Madonna uh, That was, you know, I was watching that, and they said that was 10 years ago. 10 years ago. 10 years ago that Madonna and Britney kissed on stage. I think... Um, Miley, she says she wanted to top it off or something like that. And I think she did. Well... I mean, she did. You know, I, you know it's funny because I'm on Instagram and on Facebook, and I get all these pictures of like a turkey butt. Yes, <laughs> Miley Cyrus's butt, just in that outfit, and it's like, it's, and then it's, uh, yeah, and then the whole sticking out your tongue thing. Yeah, you know that she looked like a camel. I mean, come on. I, I don't, mean, I don't know. And then the, I don't know what was up with that. Yeah, know? that was that was. I mean, she did it a lot, and then the finger. I mean, poor that foam finger. I mean, I bet you that foam finger is in the corner crying. Just you know. What happened to it? And apparently, you know, <laughs> apparently Robin Thicke's wife got upset initially. But she, she, she chilled she out. She hasn't said anything. She's kept quiet. Really? She does not have said anything. But uh, Robin Thicke, what, you know, it did surprise him. It, it was a big really? surprise. You know, all that. Looking you know. like Beetlejuice on the stage. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you one thing. His butt looked good in them pants. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so. But and yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, speaking so. of butts and pants, Justin Timberlake and NSYNC. Just NSYNC. Oh, yeah. um, I saw that performance. OK, uh, it was a total of 15 minutes. His hit the whole the whole, everything that he sang. It was like 15 minutes. That that's, was. Yeah, that's a long time. It was a long time. But then when NSYNC came in, it was like two minutes and then it was over for them. <laughs> but there's the, there's your yeah, union guys. Dude, yeah, there's I mean, and I mean, <laughs> you know, it's like everybody got, you know, I was really tripped out when I saw One Direction standing up. It's like, yeah, I remember, you know, they're, they're probably yeah. like, I remember those guys. We, we look up to those guys and stuff yep. like that. And, yeah, but you don't see much boy bands anymore. No, you know. Yeah, no, like, uh, but yeah, I mean, they uh, there was a lot of stuff said that you know, th- you know, a reunion. I'm like, a reunion is like the Spice Girls getting back together again and making another album. Yeah, well, you know, I, I watch America's Got Talent and Mel B's on there, which was Scary Spice. Yeah, and I remember Scary Spice, and she was like. You know, she was pretty scary. Not 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 scary, but like you know. Yeah, she, she more. If you see her now, and then you remember her back. Yeah, in she's the real pretty day. now. She's real pretty yeah. now. You so know, apparently, apparently, being a, you know, she's also a mom, so <laughs> you know, <laughs> hey, that helps. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, but yeah, I mean, it was a like a two minute reunion. That's what it was. Everyone was so excited about oh the instincts coming back together, and then when you actually watch the performance. They were like on for like two minutes, and then the rest of it was just JT. And you have to understand, uh, you know, if you don't know who Insync, the Insync, they're all white. But um, JT's kind of black now. He's yeah, you know, but the thing is, it's that he's urban hip hop cool. Yeah, you know, like I think he's one hell of an actor. Oh, I'll, I'll give I'll give Justin Timberlake a hat down because Friends he, with Benefits was a good one. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I, I one. saw one called uh, Trouble with a Curve. Trouble with a Curve. He did real good, and I, I, even even on uh, even on the Social Network, I think he plays like a really good character. And then there was another movie that he was in. Um, He's in the in time in time in something time. like no, it's just called in time. In time? It's where they uh, pretty much they have uh, they it's they at twenty five years old a clock starts, a which clock is starts. given another year, and then pretty much they work for. Time for time, yeah. and then if you run out of time, you die. Then you die. Yeah. yeah. So, but you never age. You stay tw- whatever you look like at twenty five is what you 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 look like as long as you can keep time on your I guess yeah. form. Yeah. So so that's why like 
he meets some guy that has like a wife and a daughter and they all look they like all around look, the same age they look because, like <laughs> yeah so that, which I, is a little weird yeah that is kind of weird because i mean you're like how does how do you not get older yeah you know but i guess i guess somebody, whatever. there's something in the jeans or something in the water yeah that's that theme <laughs> so we also apparently there's a big deal going on with twerking twerking what is twerking what is twerking and and apparently guys they put this what did you tell me earlier that they oh, put this in the right. dictionary okay so i um oh okay so first of all on the twerking um they put it in the uh, um the oxford english dictionary on wednesday twerking and selfie and if you don't know what a selfie is it's when you take a picture of yourself on the camera phone and then you post it up on facebook or whatever social media website all you girls know that yeah you know you know you have the you know <laughs> twerking. so the twerking so and then i was like well what is twerking really like you know what is the definition of twerking so i looked it up twerking is a dance move that involves a person usually a woman shaking her hips in an up and down bouncing motion causing her dancer to shake wobble or jiggle which is what you do anyways when you dance yeah and what well, i thought that was booty popping but I guess not. I don't know. Maybe my definition of booty popping and twerking are totally different. <laughs> but, you know, that that's what I kind of figured. It was booty popping, you know. You know, and I think, you know, and then speaking of that, because, you know, the twerking thing, uh, it was a backlash on Miley Cyrus, too. You know, and then she started uh, also taking self pics of wearing provocative things, doing the, 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 you know, the twerking thing, you know, on Instagram yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, oh, girl, stop. I go, I know you're trying to be grown up. Let's go ahead. And, you know, she wants to cause controversy, controversy or whatever. Controversy. There we go. Thank you. And, and that's okay because, I mean, people people do that, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Oh, you're going to love this. Oh, my gosh. I can't, I can't believe I found this. All right. All right. In Zurich, prostitution is legal. All right. It's been legal since 1942. All right. So in order, they, they want, um, in order for, um, on Monday, they're launching to make uh, prostitution less a uh, public nuisance, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, and safer for women. So they're opening up sex, drive-in sex boxes where you park your vehicle in a place and you pay for it. You pay for your sex and you have your sex there, like a drive-in. Like a drive through Kind of like a Sonic. A Sonic, yeah. That's crazy. You know, but you know, hey, man, I mean, sometimes the, you know, fast food restaurants, they get your order wrong, <laughs> you know. That would be messed up. Yeah, and especially if you're um, uh, carpooling, you're like, hey, guys, let me make a quick stop real quick. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so they're, they're wooden garages, and they're called sex boxes. That's and, nuts. And in Zurich. In Zurich, yeah. In Zurich. Like, you know, so I'm like, hey, I'm like, you know, they should just go ahead and make prostitution legal. I don't know about that. Uh, well, I mean, if you really think about it, <laughs> if you really think about it, <clears throat> servers and all that, we're working for money for tips. So we're kind of prostituting ourselves, you know, to make yeah, you, you got to say yourself, which which brings me to another topic. Apparently, fast food workers are going on strike today. On strike. Yes. Yeah, what's that all about? Um, They want more money. I mean, who doesn't? Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, they want they <laughs> you know want I mean? more money. They they want at least to make pay fifteen dollars an hour. Then you know, I don't know if it's like you know, you go you look over here in Odessa, for example, and and you know, oil field guys make twenty five bucks an hour. But then again, y you have to understand. Okay, you pay somebody fifteen bucks an hour at Wendy's or McDonald's, for example, right? I just don't want what happened in Odessa and Midland to happen to like places like Van Horn, mm -hmm. where you get paid 15, 18 bucks an hour at a fast food restaurant, you know, and the economy starts actually kind of going up because people have money to spend, but then inflation comes around and then you got to rent a house for a thousand dollars a month. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then uh, a gallon of milk goes up to six bucks. Oh, you know, so it's, it's like, horrible. yeah, it's like you can't win. Yeah. You know, you can't win no matter what you do. You know, and then um, um, like I have a friend in Tucson, you know, she worked with me at Applebee's and you know, my friend Sharia, you know, a uh, real best friend. Cool uh, chick. Um, uh, she was telling me um, that they can't pass 30 hours a week. They can't pass 30 hours they a week? They can't pass 30 hours a week. Why not? Um, I guess. Um, I don't know. Um 
the way my friend Sharia, she's like, she's like, and it has to kind of deal with like Obamacare. I don't know how that inter- yeah rates. I, I I I don't know all the details in Obamacare and when yeah. it's supposed to happen. And that's something. I mean, we can probably talk you about know, next time. But, but we're you know, I I know that what if we don't have insurance that we're gonna get fined or something. Yeah, apparently it's kind of like yeah, you, you know, know. I think if you which don't ha- which I think it's more for hospital purposes. Mm-hmm. You know, because if you think about it, like how many people go to the ER, get treated. And never pay their hospital bills, you know. Oh, that's true. I you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like a. F- I mean, in the stu- it's not. It's not like you know. It's not like they can't care for you. You know what I mean? So kind of an ER deal is where you pretty much have to get treated. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, so she can't. I mean, once they hit about thirty hours, it's like okay, you got to go home. You can't be clocked in. Like, you know, you're done. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's like that's crazy, huh? You're out delivering food and you're delivering food, and it's like, ding. oh, you you haven't, you know, you have an hour before you hit that, and that you gotta go, like, you know, hey, like, you know, some people live on that overtime. Yeah, they, I know, they I do. do. <laughs> I know, I did at one point, especially when I worked at the group home. You know, so when they when at the group home when they called me. Uh, no, I'm not gonna go into work. Oh wait, that's an extra ten hours. All right, sure. And yeah, then yeah. I start adding up on my time pay, card. Yeah, paying a half it makes a difference. Yeah, and I start, you know, I start adding it, and I'm like, oh, and then like, oh, can you come in tomorrow? Can you work a, a night shift? Sure, you know, I would have to. Um, uh, my social life went down the drain, but you know, I was getting paid. There's nothing. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but anyways, so um. We're looking at a nice day today. Oh my gosh! Ninety-two degrees is a high. Uh, Sixty-seven is, low for today. Know, I don't see no rain, which this, which has been weather's been crazy this year. You know what? I'm really actually looking forward to fall and winter. Really? I I'm, hate winter. I, I hate winter. I love it. But I mean, it's like the weather's been crazy this year with all the rain that we're getting. You know what I mean? Mm. The the rain has been nuts. They rained for like two weeks straight and all day, and my. You know the grass is green, which is like a big, yeah, something to see in Van Horn. It, it, it you know is, what I mean? It, it is, especially if you have to cut it like I did yesterday. <laughs> Spent out there uh, for two hours with a weed eater and the lawnmower, and then try to get the weed plants. Yeah, you know stickers and all. oh god, it stickers is, are horrible. I know. That's, I mean, I remember when I first stepped on one when I got back. I, I think I had tears in my eyes. <laughs> it, it hurt like. You know, because I like going outside barefoot, especially. Well, when I lived in an apartment, it's, there's grass. You yeah. Know, you know, and yeah. it's it's kept it's kept up year year round. You know, so I'd go out there, you know, with my dog Odie. You know, I'd, I'd be walking barefoot through the grass. You know, but you try doing that here, <laughs> you get. It that hurt. doesn't happen. No, it doesn't happen. You have to be part Indian to do that here. Yeah. <laughs> Your feet which, need to be calloused. Which is not a racial slur, by the way. <laughs> no. Okay. Because <laughs> I think I'm part Indian. I can't even walk barefoot. So. <laughs> Anyways, um, we do. You know what? I just forgot. We do have a benefit softball tournament happening this weekend. Happening this weekend. Oh, really? For Lazara uh, Ontiveros. <gasps> What happened? I'm not sure what the what, what the what the benefit is I used for. To, I used to work with Lazara yeah. in, at, at Wendy's. Yeah, so we got we got a softball tournament, and apparently it's going to be a pretty good one. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, I don't know if they're starting today or tomorrow, but I mean, uh, y'all go out there, check it out. It's going to be at the what is it, the Rivas Park? The, yeah. yeah, the veterans, the, the yeah. veterans. Y'all go out there, check it out. Uh, you know, support stuff like that. You know, our community really needs. Uh, support and whenever you know there there comes a time in everybody's life when eventually you need it mm-hmm. you know what i mean it, it always happens so it's good it's like they say you reap what you sow <laughs> <laughs> which by that laugh can't be i guess it, it, it means it, you're it, not gonna be uh reaping re- good benefits re- yeah yeah uh, i've got <laughs> some i've got some issues going on right now guys so so i'm <laughs> I mean, I can't talk about it, <laughs> especially on the air. <laughs> no, no, no. Anyway. Oh, look. Justin Timberlake to produce musical remake would like to play villain to Batman. Wow. Did you hear about this deal with Ben Affleck being uh, Ben Affleck. Apparently, he's going to be Batman. He's in the, the new next Batman with the, the, the Superman sequel. The yeah, Man the of Man of Steel, Steel sequel. Uh, I was in uproar with that one. You know, Eddie, like, 
uh, he did it with Daredevil. I mean, he, Daredevil. I mean, uh, yeah, but it was a '90s movie. Yeah, you know, you know, it, it's like it's like you have to understand something. Okay, the Man of Steel had a lot of hype. You know what I mean? Yes. Man of Steel had a lot of hype behind it, and I want to go watch it. And you it was, seen it yet? It, yo, I, I saw oh, it. You saw it? Oh, I it, it was it. it was okay. I liked it. It well, was okay. I I don't like movies that jump around back and forth. And, and kind of just like they show him when he's young and they show him when he's old. And, then, you know, I don't like movies like that. Just tell the story. Mm-hmm. You know, don't jump back and forth, you know. But it's a tough deal. You know, you, I don't know how they're going to, you know, you know, if you've ever read comics, they've always incorporated, you know, like other superheroes into, you know, other superheroes worlds which means like oh uh, it, cross uh the, yeah they, like, they cross like, the, the so like so like batman's got his own thing going on in gotham uh-huh. superman's in metropolis and he's got his yeah. own thing going. but for some reason they meet somewhere they, they ha- yeah yeah the, apparently i guess that's bruce a, wayne takes a vacation to metropolis and they have problems they have problems there yeah i'm like dude i'm like i'm on vacation yeah and <laughs> he, he has to bring the suit with him just in case uh, uh, you're on vacation yeah why why are you, are you like okay yeah, I see. There's a lot of stuff going on, but I'm on vacation. I'm just I'm chilling out. I've got my own problems at my own my own city. Yeah, like, and, and I'm like, I'm and, like dude, you, you know, know so it's gonna make more villains hate you. And I don't I don't think Batman could take Superman anyways. <laughs> Batman is based upon pure like technology. Yes. Okay? This guy this guy doesn't have super. I want a tool belt like Batman. Yeah, well, he doesn't have superpowers. <laughs> he doesn't have uh, you know he doesn't have uh, he can't fly. You know, you know, so there's no need for a cape. So, yeah, ex- yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know. There's no need for a cape. Well, I mean, he can he can like glide down, but, you know, and super, you know, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying Superman has like, you know, that stuff with his eyes, la- like that laser issues out of his eyes. And I mean, that alone would like kind of mess you up, wouldn't it? Yeah. You know, I don't care what Batman throws him. He, all he does, he just looks at it and burns and that's up. That's it. That, yeah. You're done. You, you're you're incinerated. You're so. I don't know how Oof. they're going to incorporate uh, Ben Affleck in ben. this new sequel, but... Oh, well, I got to see. I mean, because, I mean, you think about the previous Batmans. Well, you just start with... No, no, no. The previous Batmans were really good. The guy, the ones that, like, Dark Knight and stuff like that, mm-hmm. I think Heath Ledger played an awesome Joker. Joker. I mean, the you know, people were talking I don't think, about I, Academy I don't, yeah. Award. But this is after he died, though. Well, I mean, no, I, but even then, like, I don't, I don't think anybody's going to be able to top that as far as the Joker. Yeah, he he did such an awesome job, you know, and not because he's dead, but because the guy is was you know, he's I used a, to he watch. He was a method actor. That's what it is. Yeah, exactly. Like they, he's, they, he, he's there's a, a lot of actors that get in a comfort zone. You know, like if they're comedy, they stick to comedy. St- yeah, you know, and if, or if they're they're drama, they stick to drama. They can't you can't see like it's it's really tough to see Jim Carrey in a serious role mm-hmm. because you just you don't believe him. You know what yeah. I mean? Because you, you've seen, well, you've seen uh, Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, and you, you see Dumb and Dumber and Ace Ventura, and then like Liar Liar and all the stuff that he does, and it's just there was one movie uh, that I thought he was really good. Um, it, w- ha- it had to do with the numbers, uh, twenty or something, or crap. What is it? Um, a, a Jim Carrey movie? It Jim Carrey, yeah. Uh, no, there was like that. What is it? Uh, Sunshine of a Spotless Mind or something like that that he played like a serious role in, and yeah, you know, and, and I, I um, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless yeah, Mind. Yeah, that one. And he played like a serious role, and I don't think he did too well. In that, that that one, it uh, didn't you know wasn't really, yeah. So <laughs> wasn't anyways. really fun. But no, there's uh, there was a movie that he did, and it was it was kind of like a thriller, uh, a thriller, thriller. Um, and it had to do with number. It had to do with the numbers that oh, came repeating. Oh yeah, 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 you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember. Um, I, re- I don't remember the title of the movie, but I remember the plot of it. And yeah, yeah. Um, it's a. Uh, Rob, it's it's gonna bug me. I need to look it up because if it's not, it's but just Jim Carrey number movie. Jim we'll Carrey number movie. I've yeah. got it. Uh, I've got his uh, Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> which which Wiki- by the way, don't trust Wikipedia guys because you you do understand that Wikipedia can be edited by users. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. So like, I can go in there and say Jim Carrey was born three days ago. <laughs> you know, so. the number twenty three. There it is. The number twenty. Yeah, number yeah, 23. yeah. Yeah, he's obsessed that, with that. Like it's yeah. in everything in his it's life. Like, uh, it's a psychological uh, uh, thriller, thriller film, which, yeah. which by the way, wasn't good either. <laughs> I don't know his, uh, his when they did uh, the the flashback scenes or whatever. You know, like when he was that guy. You know, that that was kind of 
it kind of like threw me like i was like whoa <laughs> like i don't know so yes. we want to uh we want to tell everybody that we're also here you know to promote small businesses right yes we are large businesses we're looking for sponsorships so anybody who wants to say hey guys mention our our uh our restaurant or our well like i said like especially like, like el capitan they, they brought back happy hour oh wow really they, they they brought back happy hour but i guess um from what i understand i think it's just only for the beers and so not like, for the drinks not for the drinks you know which makes sense because back when they had happy when they before they had taken it down the first time um uh, everything was half off including the shots you know so it'd be more like a not a happy hour but a glad hour a glad hour yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I yeah, think you're a little more happy with with actual liquor liquor you liquor know. drinks. But then you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, when I started when I started working there, it was like, oh, well, all the liquor is half off. You know, I was like, well, that's kind of, and it was like, is that including shots? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, well, you, you kind of guys are like kind of losing money. Like, I don't I don't get it, you know. But I, I rolled with it. Like, all right, cool. Like, you want a shot? Three shots? You know, this is what. Uh, let's say twenty five bucks, dude. That's ex- but you, you have to understand. You know, you go you go to a big city, and drinks are expensive. Mm-hmm. You know, a shot of Patron is like five six bucks. Yeah, you, and that's I think that's cheap still. You know, you you come over here and you know, Van Horn people have Van Horn money, and that's not a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you have to maybe you know I think they cater more to the tourists. You know, because if you stay at Capitan, you know you're getting that kind of experience anyway. So. You're gonna you're gonna make some money mm-hmm. you to stay there like if you're from out of town yeah I guess it's the premier hotel of Van Horn Texas you know the premier so, the premier um but you know yeah. what are you gonna do it's the only place that has a liquor license the only place which has a liquor license yeah, yeah and that's uh parent yeah you know it's it's so expensive until, until that changes then you yeah, know Van Horn, yeah you have to suffer it out unless go to the local um, liquor store and buy your own liquor yeah. You know, and then, but like we said, we're promoting small businesses. So if you guys got a business that you want to come on here, you're more than welcome to, you know, come on here and and say hey and yeah, I'm all on. Yeah, I, I I cut dogs' hair, you know, which which I'm pretty sure people need. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, because I I, mean, ha- I have I have a after I have a mini schnauzer, <laughs> you know, and that thing you wouldn't believe the hair it grows. It's like a chia pet. Jeez, you know, and, and you know, and we tried cutting. You know, did you try doing it yourself? Well, well, or my girlfriend tried doing it herself, <laughs> and and it was it was a hot mess at first. She's good at it now. She's good at it now. Oh, she's good at it she's now. Good okay, at it she's now. still doing oh, okay. Yeah, she's good at it now. But let me tell you, the fact is that when she first started doing it, she tried it with my clippers. Th- no you, way, dude. You can't. Don't, no way, man. Oh, that, oh, man. That's like invasion of privacy, space. You know, you don't do not do that. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, yeah. I did something here on my laptop. Oh. What did you do? I, oh, okay. Here it goes. Well, it's because I was, uh, um, I saw on Yahoo uh, about the, something about uh, the federal government won't block Colorado mar- marijuana legalization. No, no, no. Get this. Yeah, I was looking at that. Apparently that the U.S. Mm-hmm. government will not worry about, if, if like the state decides to legalize it, yeah. it's okay with it's okay with with a... With a federal? W- with a federal part. Uh, no, no, no. It, it's a good thing. Uh, yeah, you know. It's a good thing. So, 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 like, Colorado doesn't have to worry about it, we don't about the federal level part. Yeah. Because the government, if, if they say pretty much, if the state okays it, then we okay it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And well, just as long, they said, just as long as you keep it away from kids and it's under a certain amount. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which makes sense. It does. I, I think I think they should. I think that's partly the, the easiest way to, uh, that's e- the easiest way to get over it. I mean, to, to like, to f- kind of make a dent in the war on drugs. And I'm not saying that I promote smoking marijuana. You know, I'm not, I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm not saying that I promote it, you know, but what I'm trying to say is that. There'd be a lot less crimes due to that. I mean, not. Well, of course there'd be less crimes because everyone would be high and be like, "Oh, well, we'll I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, we're I'm just staying home. Just staying home. Someone, uh, what's the number of dominoes? Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. Which, I by the way, which, by the way, that's what Van Horn could use is like a really uh, good pizza place. Yeah, exactly. You, you know? know, but yeah, I mean, uh, my friend and uh, and when they said it was okay, um, 
when they um, what was it uh, Arizona is is able to uh, you can have a medical marijuana card and my friend uh, had opened up a store a medical marijuana store and it was called GHC and <laughs> GHC GHC <laughs> and that's smart <laughs> Yeah, and uh, he um, he was in business for probably six months, and the federal guys they came in and shut him down. They shut him down. They shut him down. Like it was sad, and it's uh, you know because I was one time looking at their Facebook, and uh, they, people were like, "So what's going to happen now? Like, what about all the customers? And you know, where are we going to get product? You know, especially people you know with medical issues, like real medical issues. You know, you know they were upset with that. You know, and there was a, a few stores." That were gonna open, and that never did open. No, oh, yeah. They they had already. I mean, they had already uh, painted the their signs out and everything, you know, and nothing ever came into fruition. You know, I was watching how those medical uh, medical marijuana stores work on Drugs Inc., which is a great show. By, yeah, which yes, is a great I've show seen, by the way. I, it's been a while, but it's on National Geographic, yes. I think. Um, but it's crazy because there's this veteran guy who's there, and he's he like, he has the medical marijuana card. You know, and he even buys pot for his friend. So, mm. it, it, you know, he like, I guess I guess you really can't get away from stuff like that. But what are you going to do, dude? Yeah. You know, are you kidding? Well, uh, that, um, and this is what I'm saying, dude. If you legalize it, you don't have to worry about stuff like that. You know, and they're petty crimes. <laughs> you know, I'm like, you know, they have they have a little bit of weed on them and, and you, they're not harming anybody. All I'm saying is if you're going to do it, if you're going to legalize it. Treat it just like alcohol. Yes. You know, because I've seen alcohol make people violent. Yes. That's Marijuana true. doesn't do anything. It just chills them out. It chills them out. You chills them out and gets them hungry. If anything, uh, it's better for the economy because they spend food. They, they, spend, they, they <laughs> spend money on food. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? You hear that, McDonald's? <laughs> yeah, McDonald's needs to stay open 24 hours. 24 hours. Yeah. Because that's what, Wendy's gets really old. Exactly. Yeah. So, or something. Like, oh, I mean, are you kidding? Imagine, imagine all the. The, I mean, and again, it, we, it goes to, you know, they're going to need more workers because there are people calling in stone, you know, to order that pizza and they need delivery drivers. Yeah. You yeah. Know? <laughs> which is which is not a bad thing, you know, you know but like in Cal, like I remember one time um, uh, when I went to California, I went to San Diego uh, to go visit a friend of mine, uh, my friend Layla. And um, you know how we have those, uh, the, like in El Paso, they've got those magazines for the week, the weekly magazine to mm-hmm. tell you what's going on. And, you know, and the last, the back of the page, it, it told you um, all the marijuana, the dispensaries that were there, that, that were listed there. And I passed by a few of them. And, and it was funny because uh, on, each, on each advertisement, <laughs> it listed that they had an on-site doctor. Where you can go talk to the doctor and get you your get a prescription, prescription, a medical See, yeah, marijuana that, That's card. the smartest thing to do. You know, <laughs> you know. So, yeah, I go. I know. I had a friend who who went in there, um, and he. I mean, he was like, "I'm gonna get me a, a medical marijuana card," <laughs> and he's like, "So he's like, you know, I'm like, I'm gonna tell him that, you know, I've got a bad back, I can't sleep well enough, uh, uh, well at night." And um, but but that's the problem. Is like, how do you determine the people who really need one? from like the potheads yeah you know what well, i mean that, that's, that's the funny thing is because like yeah he he went he went in there and he was trying to tell the the doctor the story and he goes do you got 50 bucks uh, here you go like that was it like yeah so they, they pull up they pull up in the car and all of a sudden you just hear you just hear like yeah <laughs> you know that's that's a sign for don't do it dude yeah don't don't, don't give this guy the prescription you know so <laughs> but then again, it's, it's about making that money. Yeah, that's it's, it, it. It all comes down to money again. Like any business, that's just how it is, dude. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh man. So, what do you think, man? How how do you feel about you know this whole deal, this podcast deal? I love it. I yeah, mean, it's awesome. ever since you told me that you ordered the equipment and and like and then when you brought me into the st- the, the studio that. that you did like which hopefully guys we're gonna you know um, I, I it's not done it's it's, it's a work in progress it's a work in progress yeah. this is just a um, a shell 
This is just a show. show. But, I mean, it sounds good. Yeah. It sounds professional, I, which I think. I, you know. <laughs> and like I said, if you have any questions, just give us a call. 520-977-1796. Right. Or 915 588 You guys are more than welcome to let us know what y'all want to hear, what y'all want to talk about. And I know there's plenty of issues to talk about, you know, you know yeah. whether it be the school, whether it be the county, whether it be the uh, city. Well, what about some discrimination in the workplace? Well, I mean... I mean, some stuff like, you know, stuff like that, you know, yeah. you know, whatever, whatever you guys want to talk about, you're more than welcome to come on here. Like I said, this is this is this is for y'all. Mm-hmm. This is what it's for. And and believe me, if y'all got benefits, we encourage it because nine times out of ten people don't know what's going on. Right. I yeah. mean, sometimes people, don't, you know, not everybody reads. It's the not Van Horn not, paper. I don't I, I mean, I, you know, it's not so much about the paper, but it's, you know, you just don't want to put any money into advertising your benefit. And, and that's not what we're about here. And especially if we're, we're free. Yeah. I mean, yeah. come on. We're, free. we're not getting paid for this, people. We're, we're not, not getting paid for this. <laughs> I invested money in this, so hopefully it makes it. That, that's why we're looking for sponsorships, exactly. guys. <laughs> we need to get that money back. <laughs> yeah. We, 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 all we want to do is we don't want to become rich. We just want to pay the bills. Yeah. Simple as that. I mean, we whatever, whatever, you know, American you know what they want to do they just yeah and hopefully we get some sponsorships and you guys y- y'all businesses out there that want to uh you know we encourage uh, giving if y'all want to give some gift cards and stuff like that we'll give them away to people that way they can walk into your your establishment hopefully spend some money so spend, yeah yeah we we want to do this you know, for that word of mouth word you of know mouth. you know that's then that's what you want you know which, which hopefully, like, you know, now now Facebook really connects everybody, dude. It does. You it's know, taken over. For, for some good and some bad. You know, unfortunately, we have a lot of people <laughs> displaying their problems on Facebook, which is fine. But now, my, my thing is, my, my especially, oh, my God, what gets really gets me is, uh, you know, they're, they're always negative. Like, oh, they're negative. Oh, you know, he, I can't believe he treats me like this. And then they start put, leaving quotes and you know finding pictures and i'm like okay um you're getting tired of it but yet you're still in the situation and you haven't changed anything yeah so you know i'm just like wow but that's just that's just i guess you know i think facebook for some people is just a release yeah you know and, they, they have to and it could be good and it can be bad because it can backfire on you a lot oh yeah man i mean it, it can i have uh, my sister christina she lives in austin and said um uh, one of the teachers have gotten fired for po- uh, for ha- having a picture uh, taken, and I guess they went in through Facebook and they saw the picture, and it was nothing. It was just like her holding a beer, having you know a good time with some friends, and uh, she got fired. Really? Mm-hmm. You know what? I've seen that a lot. Like you yeah. know, I which, mean, which is crazy employ- because because it, that that's a personal. I mean, whatever you do in your personal life is your business. Yeah, you know, if, if if you if you're going to, you know, as long as it's, I understand if it's maybe illegal and stuff like that. Like yeah. if you're showing a picture of of crossing drugs or showing a low, I understand that. Yeah, you know, but dude, if if you if you see somebody partying on Facebook, that's not a reason to fire them. You know, what I'm saying is like, they're employees when they're on the clock. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And when, when they're you're off, when you're when on the clock, you maintain a certain professionalism. Yeah. You know, and what you're expected to do. Yeah, because, you know? and I'm not saying it gives you the right to act like a fool when you're not on it. But what I, all I'm saying is that, you know, don't get me wrong. There's some jobs that you do have to maintain a sense of uh, morality or whatever you want to call it when you're presented in front of public, period. Yeah. Because if you're a public figure, it's a different story. You have to understand uh, if, if, if you work for the public, you don't want them thinking that, that you're, you're a lunatic. Because these people... You know, they look at you inside and outside the job. That I can understand. But, I mean, if, if you work at, you know, a restaurant or something like that, or if you work at, you know, a department store, you know, that sells clothes and stuff like that, there's no need to worry about what your employees are doing after work. Exactly. You know, you know, you, you know let everything is done. You're not on the clock. You yeah, yeah. You'd be able to so. do, you be, should be able to do whatever you want. Like, come on. So, hopefully... But anyways, hopefully we can get a bunch of businesses together and we can get them advertised on here and we can get some sponsorships, which, like I said, we need sponsorships, guys. Um, We would really like to get people uh, to come on here and uh, guest appearances. 
Come on. Whoever you are, you don't have to be anybody. Yeah, Just come down here and, and come talk to talk with us. Yeah, come talk to You know. And, and we really like, I mean, I would really like to, uh, you know, anybody who feels, and, and this goes for public figures, you know. If you guys want to come out of here, because I know, I know it's real easy to get scrutinized amongst the public, especially in Van Horn, that says you're doing wrong or you don't know what you're doing or what's his opinion on this. I think if you guys come out of here and let your uh, genuinely let people know what state you're in or what your intentions are, the public seems to have a better reaction to it. You yeah. know what I mean? They accept you a little more. If you're not afraid, you can't be afraid. Oh yeah. You know, don't 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 cower behind the title. Just come down here, guys. Let us know what you're about, and you know, it it, it might answer a lot of people's questions. You know, oh, yeah. so. I, I, anything that like, especially like with me, you know, me being a gay man in this world, you know, people, they're like, can I ask you something and you won't uh, get mad, you know? And I'm like, why are you gay? Yeah, you know, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I am. Like, tell me, you know, like, you, know, you know what though? You know? <laughs> but now, nowadays, it's 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 a lot more accepted. Yes, you have to understand. I was, you know, I had some coworkers in the past, and you know, when I really didn't understand homosexuality but i mean i understood it i just didn't know as far as the extent as you know i wanted to ask that question mm-hmm. and and when i did ask that question I, they got mad at me so it's like you know what i'm saying <laughs> it's like like okay like should i ask another gay man that and if yeah. i do is he gonna get pissed i mean you know you just it's 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 kind of like walking on eggshells yeah you know you got to be careful because some guys do get offended and some guys don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, you can ask me anything. Like, I, I'm like, I have no problem with answering. Like, it's yeah. no big deal, you know? It was like the other day, my mom and I had a conversation. You know, we sat there and I, uh, you know, because I came out and back in 2004, in May 2004. So you're almost at your 10 year anniversary. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is, that was a long time ago. You know, <laughs> I, I waited a year after I waited a year after I graduated from high school. You know, let me ask you something. OK, since you're an open book, go for it. Do you think homosexuality is something you're born with or something that's acquired? You know what? I kind of been struggling with that question. Really? Yes. You know, because it's like, you know, I've, I've seen I've seen shows where they say it's in genetics where mm-hmm. if you're a child amongst a big family, the further of a male you are down the line in that family, the more you have chances of being a homosexual. Like homosexual. Yeah. And then on top of that, like apparently if you have uh, twins, which are boys, which, yeah, one, one of, of them, them like is bound to be a homosexual, huh. not, not bound to, but like. It, it, the numbers are pretty high as to that one does end up being homosexual. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it, you know what I'm saying? It, it's kind of, that's what asks, that's why I wonder if it's in genetics. I'm like, sh- you know? Well, so. then if, if we really want to get into genetics, then I was like, then you have to meet my other side of the family, <laughs> which they have a bunch of kids. <laughs> yeah. So they're, they're straight as they come. Yeah, they're straight as they come they're, They have wives and they got kids. <laughs> That's you crazy. know, you know, so you know, yeah. But I, I, I have, um, I asked, you know, that issue, especially that, like, if you were born, or you know, that I've never understood that. Yeah, never understood that. I'm like, if you just one day pop out of the closet and you think, you know, go for it. Hey, you know, high five more. Yeah, I don't, I don't like, think, I don't think there's, you know, you know, there's a lot of people that support it. You know, there's parades for it. I, I think I even read today where. Uh, any any homosexuals that were actually like married, like you know how there's states that are allowing oh, the yeah. marriage certificate now, um, they can actually file taxes together now. Well, it's about time. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and, and then that includes like the benefits from Social Security and all that stuff. That so, like, if you if you're in a you know uh, healthcare wise, healthcare yeah, yeah, yeah. and everything, like yeah, you just know. just like a regular married couple that they're starting to allow that now, and I think that's a good that's thing. Good. You know, like come you know, on, you, you, there's guys that have spent lives with their you know with their partner and then you know it's like as, end, as, as soon as they happens, die yeah they and, die they, and they have no you know the nothing. family's like oh he doesn't exist no man i mean that was his life you know that was that's where he chose to be and 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 you have to respect that decision you yeah. know because you know if you want to be a dentist or if you want to be you know somebody who you know does whatever if you 
people can respect the choice like that, they can respect your sexuality choice. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm I'm straight. So what I'm saying is like I don't mind associating, I don't mind talking. The thing is, you know, like any straight man will tell you, just as long as, you know, there's boundaries. Yeah, there there's yeah, there's boundaries yeah. that you don't cross. And yeah. I tell my friends that too, you know. And especially like <clears throat> if you're out in public or whatever, you know, and being a straight guy and you know, you see a, a gay guy checking you out. That's like this, like that's a kind of compliment. You know what I mean? Uh, well, to me, as long as he has girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying as long as the gay guy has girlfriends, you're good, dude. Yeah, yeah. you know. But um, he, you know, it, if I need a compliment, if someone, if he, if a gay guy comes and tells you, "Oh my God, you're hot," like, you know, you know, cool, like, you know, thanks, like. But, but you have to admit that there is some guys that. Yeah. Do cross boundaries, man. Yeah, touchy feely, grabby. Yeah. You know, don't do Which, that. Yeah. Do not do that. No, you know so. that's we we don't want that. But you know, like I said, you know, me and my mom, we we got into this conversation, you know, and um, you know, because when I first came out to her, it, you know, it, it's you know, she's like, yeah, she's like, I know, you know, she's <laughs> yeah, she's like, I know, and uh, she's like, and you know, that's that's your life. She's like, the only thing I ask you, she's like, don't bring it, don't you know, don't bring it you know don't bring it here and basically like like flaunting it around yeah you know which is you know at the time my grandfather was alive you know and she just didn't want my grandfather to know which is i respect that you know i i totally respect it and um but i asked her um a few days ago i go how you know i be honest with me i go how how um do you me being gay, how do you really feel about it? What'd she say? Uh, she said um, uh, she's still trying to get used to the idea. You know, that's one thing. She's like, um, she's still trying to get used to it. She's still dealing, you know. And uh, she also was like, but I also watched like stuff on the news, you know, uh, like gay bashings and stuff like that. You know, people going to clubs yeah. and then leaving and then they get beat up you know they they get they you know you know the, the thing is that that happens to every a lot of people though dude mm-hmm. you know you have to understand that just as much i mean I, I think it's it's more emphasized in the media when it happens to a gay man but i guarantee it happens to a lot of people just the same yeah you know i think i think it makes more of a headline news when it's a gay man or 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 you know whatever happens to be that that stereotype mm-hmm. it, it People want to hear about it more. Oh my God, this happened to a gay guy, you know. You, you, but you know, what can you do? Yeah, you what know. You and do? my mom, she's like, she's like, and that's kind of the one thing she's like, because she doesn't, she she won't go to bed until I get home. <laughs> which which sometimes is pretty late, which is I imagine. Like at five o'clock in the morning, six sometimes. <laughs> Maybe you need. A, I think someone needs some Benadryl. <laughs> Benadryl. <laughs> And uh, no, she she told me she's like uh, she's like I, I she's like I worry about you, you know I, I worry about you. She's like, that's the reasons why I don't go to bed. And I, she's like because I don't know what you're doing. And she's like and sometimes the things that you do, it's just like it's ridiculous. So it's being a mother. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This that's all it is. You know. I think I think I'm gonna be the same way with my daughter. So I mean, to an extent. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make her carry pepper spray. Okay. <laughs> And uh, yeah, do that. So. And my sister does. You know, my sister, yeah. And it's it's like five bucks. It's five bucks. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not <laughs> expensive. Pepper spray, yeah. You know. So it looks like we're out of time, dude. Oh my gosh, already? Already? Shut up! Wow, yeah. that just like flew by real yeah, it quick. Did fly by. Wow. So we're gonna do a little recap. Just remember, guys, we got a benefit dance for OJ on September seventh from nine p.m. to one a.m. Y'all guys go out there. It's good. F- it's for a great it's cause. For a good cause. It's you know, for community a- center, yes. single people. Seven bucks, Seven bucks, couples twelve, couples 12 yeah. and it's uh, Los Pecadores playing a local band, yeah. which they're pretty good. And if, and if you don't want to go, just go and just give the money. Yeah, like, just, donate. Yeah, donate. Like, come on, I mean, come out there. I mean, this little kid's five years old. Like, he's yeah. awesome. You no, know, I, went, I think he's already like he's oh, already I mean, ten. Ten. He's already or, ten. Oh, sorry, my bad. Oh, but sorry, I mean, OJ. It, it, it's a five-year battle. <laughs> yeah. So that's you a know, long time. And I went to school with his his mom. Yeah. My Maricela. I, I I went to school with her. You know, so. So, we got that going on. We have a, like I said, we got a food bank going on at the United Methodist Church, which is going on right now, guys. So, 
So maybe stop by, give some food. Sixty nine people probably went and got their food. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, apparently, it's only the first sixty nine people. Like, sixty nine people go 69. after that, no more people I, can get food. I, I have no idea how oh, that okay. works. Well. Yeah, no, my mom's gonna probably gonna be there. You know, but okay. I'm like uh, sixty nine. I go, well, that's y'all, y'all odd go number. Y'all you know? go check it out. Y'all go check it out and, and see what it's all about. Mm-hmm. We got our first game today, so me y'all make sure it kicks off. Kickoff is that's at seven thirty. Mm-hmm. Y'all go out, support uh, so Van Horn Van Eagles. Van Horn Eagles, or if you're a Cranes so, fan, woo-woo. No. If you, yeah, if you're a Cranes <laughs> fan. So anyway, guys, hopefully, uh, oh man, you know, it's been fun, right? It's been fun. Yes. It, I love, I dream of Genie. No, it's Bewitched. <laughs> I'll be, oh, oh my God. I can't believe I did that. that what a flop I did. Yeah, that's a big flop. <laughs> so anyways, guys, hopefully y'all had a good time, and we're going to be doing this twice a week wednesdays and fridays wednesdays at and fridays. 10 a.m it'll be uh f- it's a live feed on ustream.com yeah so uh, like us on facebook uh subscribe to our youtube channel and if you don't catch us live it's recorded so y'all it's can watch it on yeah. youtube or ustream and we'll have links posted up on facebook page so but anyways yeah and then you know what we can start doing is like posting stuff up just like little things yeah. yeah, like, you know, check it out. Like, you know, we'll, go, we'll post. We'll have to post a Miley uh, Cyrus uh, picture on the website. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, All right. You guys have a good day. All right, guys. You have a good one. Take care.